Hey YouTube, it's ACU, and today following this week's launch of iOS 9, I wanted to share nine of my favorite apps that have been recently updated to support Apple's latest firmware release. Now for those of you interested in winning one of Apple's all new metallic lightning docks, simply rate this video up and stick around for details. The giveaway will conclude right before my iPhone 6s giveaway commences this Friday. To preface, none of the new features offered by iOS 9's developer APIs are nearly as exciting as last year's iOS 8 APIs, which added Touch ID support, third party keyboards, Safari extensions, and more. With that in mind, we may get a part 2 when iOS 9.1 one launches with its developer API for 3D Touch on the iPhone 6S and iPhone 6S Plus. Now with iOS 9 like the firmware itself, Apple has opened up a lot of behind the scenes functionality, like app thinning, which allows devs to reduce the size of their app codes based on specific devices. We also have things like HomeKit, HealthKit, MapKit, CloudKit, Extended Safari API support, etc. Therefore, there are only a few main, truly new APIs we're going to be focused on, primarily search, app recording, and multitasking. iOS 9 adds deep search functionality and true split-screen multitasking APIs. Just note that as of now, until we get a jailbreak, full split-screen is reserved to the iPad Air 2 and iPad Mini 4, which I have right here. Otherwise, the iPad Air Mini 2 and Mini 3 can simply use the one-third slide-over feature, which isn't nearly as cool, and PIP or picture-in-picture. Picture. So let's begin with deep searches, starting with one of the strangest, at least at least for this channel we have Whole Foods, which lets you find stores, create shopping lists, and more. But the reason it made this list is for the recipes. Now inside of Spotlight you can simply search for recipes and it will search within the Whole Foods app itself. You can be as general or as specific as you want. Now B&H is great for anyone who's into filming or just general tech stuff. Chances are good B&H will have it for sale. So like Whole Foods, Spotlight searches for equipment or products b &H carries will show up and it will take you directly to their specific listings within the app. Next we have Shadowmatic, which if you open up the App Store's new iOS 9 section you'll notice it has a spot in the search deep within your apps category, though I have yet to find searches for the app return results inside of Spotlight. Regardless, it works great on iOS 9. The concept of the game is to simply rotate bizarre and abstract objects to create familiar shadows. Now this is a premium app and it will likely return to its paid status shortly, but for now it remains Apple's free app of the week so you can download it entirely free. Moving along to the awesome 50-50 split screen support, we have Twitter. And if you're not currently following me on Twitter, I highly recommend doing so to get the latest updates for things like iOS and jailbreaking. Now this 50-50 feature will only be accessible in an app that actually is updated to support it on the iPad Mini 4 or the iPad Air 2, those are the only two devices. For example, it won't work in Geekbench, we just have the one third slide over even on the two devices that support the 50-50 view. Now for number 5, we have one of my all time favorites, 1Password, which made our list last year for allowing access to your password vault with your fingerprint and it gave us an incredibly useful Safari extension for filling passwords. Now 1Password just got an iOS 9 exclusive makeover and fully supports split screen. The app is free with some extra premium features built in, but you'll easily be able to store all of your passwords safely and securely with the ever awesome one password. In fact, you don't even need to remember a single password again, save your one password to access everything else. Now moving on, we have Hulu. And because I don't have a Hulu subscription or at least an active one, I'm not going to demo it, but I'm sure you can get the gist of it. Watch Hulu videos and interact with other apps simultaneously with PIP or picture-in-picture -picture support for supported iPads. Next up, app screen recording. With a cool and slick futuristic racing game called Breakneck, you can record your favorite sessions using the new built-in screen record API, which saves them straight to your camera roll. It can even record commentary through your mic. Now, Call of Champions offers similar record and replay functionality. It's a MOBA or multiplayer online 
battle arena game, and I haven't had time to fully play through it, but it looks awesome from the trailer, and it's cool enough to get the official App Store editor's note, seal of approval, so it's at least semi-addicting. And speaking of addicting, our next one is nothing but. Now, this one wasn't necessarily designed with iOS 9's new APIs in mind, but its stunningly simple gameplay easily makes it one of those simple pick-up-and-go apps that you can play for one round or 20 rounds and still not lose interest. Simply swipe up once for a single jump or swipe up twice for a double jump to collect the dots that add to your score, all while avoiding obstacles. Now quickly, for the 10th or the bonus app, we have Documents 5, which lets you download and annotate a number of different document files, including PDFs. Now this app ties quite a few new iOS 9 features together, including CloudKit functionality, extensive spotlight search, and split view multitasking for the supported iPads. Now that wraps up this list. I really do hope you guys liked it. If you have yet to subscribe, definitely be sure to do so by clicking the subscribe button down below next to my channel name. And if you guys want to win one of the new metallic lightning docks, rate this video up and then navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of mobile safari and sign up. It's very easy. You can then download sponsored applications for points and you can even redeem those points for some really great prizes, including paid apps from Apple's app store and gift cards. But what you need to do for this giveaway is simply navigate to the fourth tab down below at the bottom and grab the unique part of your referral link, what appears after the equal symbol, and post it down below in the comments section. It doesn't matter what your comment is, so long as it has that unique portion, you will automatically be entered and you'll be good to go. Don't forget, that giveaway concludes this coming week. Get your entries in as soon as possible. Let me know what your favorite iOS 9 apps are down below. Be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter if you have yet to to be updated more often. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.